So here's the percentage controller here. Just received it today. It came in its nice little box. Um, looks fairly straightforward to hook up. It's a 240 and a 120 volt, so it works over here in New Zealand because we work 240 volt and back in America. Um, and to hook it up, obviously, you just it's got knockouts on the on the ends of it. I think on just on the ends, and you just knock those out, and you run the wires in there. And on the back of this, you can see it's just got the instructions on on how to how to hook it up there. Um, so that shouldn't be too difficult to follow. So I'm going to get out there shortly and um, get this connected connected up. Um, and this is going to control my humidifier, um, and with the controls on this, obviously, I can just set it to to the to how many minutes I want it to run for. So let's say I might do two minutes, and I might do 50% of two minutes, and that means that it'll run for one minute and it will turn off for one minute, and that's how I'm going to control my humidity. Um, I've still got the ink brew controllers. Obviously, I've got three. Two don't work. And one's working one is actually running it out there now but what they do all still do is they still actually get a good reading of the humidity levels so um i'll use those to um to just read the humidity in the room and i'll use this to actually control it um, this will be easy if i if i want it slightly more humid obviously you've got your percentage on here so let's say i'm running it on two minutes if it's not quite humid enough i just need to bump that up to 50 65 75 80 percent 80 percent and it will just increase the amount of time that the humidifier runs for um and this should be uh because this isn't isn't having doesn't have to read the humid humidification in there and adjust accordingly it should be less prone to failure so we'll get that going in there now and we'll um, yeah show you so it's all hooked up uh connected and working perfectly I'm uh, really happy with uh, with uh, just how well it works. Um, I've used it I've, to replace a one of these devices up here, um, and this has just been superior right from the get go. Um, I wired it in myself. These wires just run down to our, um, our New Zealand standard plugs, um, and you can see it's on right now. I've actually got the duty cycle off um, just to show you guys. So I've been running it on a, on two minutes, two minute timer, and you can see here how it works, I'll just get that to focus. If we uh, put it to one, that means it will run for one second of, it'll run for one percent of every two minutes. So you can see it turned off nearly instantly. And then obviously if I turn it up, that's two, so that'll run for two percent of two minutes. And you can run that right up to like 25 percent, all the way around to 99 percent of two minutes. Um, I've been running it uh, at on two minutes and I've been running it at about 25% and it's just doing it What it does is it keeps my uh, mushroom growing room uh, the humidity up and it keeps the humidity It's been keeping the humidity perfect and I can adjust that that humidity just by notching this the percentage that it runs for um, higher and lower um, and I can really fine-tune the controlling in there um, uh, a lot better than this this one up here could ever do um, this video is just going to be, it was about the percentage controller, I'm going to make another video directly comparing this to this and you'll see how they both function but that'll be more around um, mushroom growing specifics. This is just a video about this percentage controller here which I am um, uh, absolutely over the moon about, about how it functions and how it works. Um, hopefully it's a, this is my third ink bird so hopefully this is a bit more reliable than that. Um, I, I purchased this off Amazon. I'll give you guys a link to, to the purchase down below. Um, if you are interested in buying one and you, you have found this video helpful, um, please buy it through my link. It, it helps me out in making these videos. Um, and before I will go, I will quickly, I'll take the cover off this and just show you how I've wired it up on the inside. I'll turn it down. Um, it was quite tricky to wire up. I actually had to Google the, the wiring diagram on the back of this wasn't very clear because I'm not an electrician or anything I kind of know my way around what I'm doing but I'm not obviously I don't read uh, electronic diagrams that well um, so I'll just take this off and I'll show you how, how it has been wired up so here it is wired up um, obviously you can see the greens are the, the greens of the earth the blue blues are the neutral and the browns are the positive um, um, there's the both the, the the power input and the power output going out there. Um, so you know, I don't know if you can tell how exactly that's wired up from this little video, but um, this this little diagram up here was quite tricky to read, um, and I actually had to Google it and 
the way I thought I was doing it was actually wrong and I googled it to check and I found out I was wrong and I had to change it to this wiring here which works perfectly.